This is Nina Curley. I'm here at the World Economic Forum with Walid Abdurrahman, the General Manager of Red Sea World. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Great. So tell us a bit about your history working in the corporate world and in the food and beverage sector. Uh, I'm currently working for uh, my family business, managing the family business. Uh, it's a 90-year-old uh, food and beverage uh, business. Uh, but first gained some experience in the corporate world with Procter & Gamble then jumped in into our business which I've been trained uh, mostly all of my life uh, to understand the fundamentals of it. Now uh, doing the premium food and beverage uh, leadership through our company uh, we are now looking into new horizons where we are we will be able to transfer this 90 year uh, experience to other uh, entrepreneurs who are starting up their businesses uh, in the food and beverage sector. So you're starting an incubator for food and beverage startups? Uh, it's some sort of an incubator from a knowledge standpoint. So we are collecting, um, let me put it this way. In this 90 years, you see a lot of clients. You see a lot of people that are trying to start up. Some of them succeed in that and some of them fail. This um, condensed 90 years, we're trying to put in a toolkit to enable entrepreneurs uh, to start up their business and increase the chances of their scaling to be better and to reduce the amount of food and beverage uh, startups that close down, especially that we've been seeing some uh, ups and downs on, on this. And people are very excited about starting up their own businesses in Egypt in the food and beverage sector. Can you speak to, I mean, how many of Egypt's startups today would you say are in the food and beverage sector? Um, I would say that uh, there are two main um, industries where startups are picking up really quickly. The online tech uh, uh, starting up and the food and beverage uh, sector. Um, I would say that it's uh, for online, let's say 70% and 30% for the, for the food and beverage since it's a high generator of profit and uh, people are basically passionate about food. <laughs> and what would you say to those who think that entrepreneurship is just synonymous with tech? This is not true. <laughs> this is not true, basically. Uh, entrepreneurship is an attitude. It is how you approach your business. It's about how you transform and close this gap that you see in your culture and in your and in your and in your market. Once you're able to identify this opportunity and this gap, then you are an entrepreneur. And not all the all your countries or your communities problem are so, solved online. Some of them are solved online by high tech today, but others that touch other people's lives and uh, uh, more C and D classes on everyday basis is the are the are the uh, um, ideas that that are generated on the ground versus online. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank you very much.